Good evening, everybody. New hope tonight for a resort project on Canandaigua Lake. For years, only a metal hulk stood. Attached to it, only rust and questions about its future. That eyesore will soon become a resort and conference center. The developer has new financing, and tonight, Kayla Green reports it got a tax break from the Ontario County Industrial Development Agency. It's been a long time coming, but it's coming. Developer Robert Murphy says he hopes to start construction on the Finger Lakes Resort and Conference Center as soon as next week. The resort will also include private condos in the same building, and it finally has funding from a private equity firm. The executive director of the Ontario County Industrial Development Agency says he's ready to make Canandaigua a player in the conference game. We want to be sort of the you know, uh, the off the Finger Lakes area that can uh, ho host these large events that we now really have no place for. But not all board members voted yes. Jeff Gallahan, Manchester Town Supervisor, says he spoke with his constituents, and many of them say they're not on board. Things have gone wrong around the city of Canandaigua, and, and they're, they're questioning whether they want their tax dollars to, to support this or not, and, and they just don't want to do that. But I would ask them, what, what, is, their, what is their solution? You know, are they content with a, uh, frankly, a skeleton of steel to remain? Amy Kuderi works in commercial real estate and frequently visits a friend who lives in Canandaigua. I think that a resort is not, of this size, is not what Canandaigua really needs. It's, you know, more public access and maybe a smaller resort to generate uh, income from taxes. Whether they like it or not, everyone wants to see something done with this steel skeleton. Members of the Industrial Development Agency say they expect the project to be finished in 12 to 18 months. It'll take around $40 million to compete, complete, and it'll be a Hilton Tapestry Hotel. Maureen? Thank you, Kayla. The IDA also says this resort is expected to add 88 new jobs, which they say would compensate for the 50-plus jobs lost when the convention center was torn down to begin this project.